Now that technology will be tested among Schneider truck drivers. Schneider will outfit a total of eight tractors with breath sensors in 2022. What's good, everybody, and welcome back. <laughs> welcome back to the Lockout Man Podcast Show. I am here with some news that you truck drivers can use. Yes, sir. Uh, we are back with some news that you can use. If you are a veteran driver, and you said that you want to come in and you 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 want to get with a company that you was looking at and they tell you that the company is all gravy it's all good but in order to start the truck you have to breathe in the breathalyzer to start the truck how would you feel about that? Let me know in the comments below. How, how would you feel about driving for any company that you will have to breathe into the truck and make sure that your BAC, BAD, BAB, or whatever the, whatever the breathalyzer number that makes sure that you're not drunk or incapacitated to start the truck? Now, don't get me wrong. Let me just start out here by saying that you should never drive any vehicle, especially a commercial vehicle, incapacitated. You shouldn't drive high. You shouldn't drive drunk. You shouldn't drive at all. You should be somewhere sitting down and waiting until, you know, waiting until your blood alcohol level gets back to regular levels so you can drive. But what if a company says hey we're gonna put this in eight of our trucks and in order to drive in order for the trucks to start you're gonna have to blow in there and make sure you, and give a breathalyzer test every time you start up the truck would you work for that company would you would you drive for that company or let me know in the comments below what do you think that the company thinks of you now I mean, you know, in, inside driver cams, a lot of you guys said that's an invasion of privacy, but big companies out, out here saying, yo, it's, it's good for us because we get to know what the fuck you're doing. Now they're saying, yo, we, we don't trust you. To the fact that they put breathalyzers in the trucks. Now, some of you might be like, oh, man, that's a good idea, great idea, because, you know, a lot of truck drivers, they, you know, they smoke weed every day and, you know, they drink alcohol and all. They, I mean, they drink alcohol on a 34 and all like that. So, yeah, put it in the truck. We need to make sure that they're not drunk or high. But it, it might be a good idea. Might be a good idea. I, I You know, hey, it, it's. So let's start with a company that is going to start doing that in 2022. And you guys know the company, Big Yellow. Uh, Big Yellow. <laughs> Yellow. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Y'all know the company, Big Orange. Yeah, they, they, you know, those multicolor tractors that pulls these big orange trailers. Y'all know who it is. Yes, it is Snyder. They're going to be the first trucking company in 2022 to start with breathalyzers in their trucks. Now taking another step forward to put the brakes on drunk driving. Over the last few years, James River Transportation has taken part in a test program with new alcohol detection technology. And now that tech will embark on a new adventure all across the country. On your side at six, Karina Bolster joining us live with how this works. Karina. 
Well, Kurt, the DMV has teamed up with a national, or a, a rather, a traffic safety group along with a national trucking company to really test out a new version of an alcohol detection sensor. So essentially a breathalyzer that would be put in the cabs of tractor trailers. Again, this is just one step or the next step in trying to find the best technology to make the roads a bit safer and save lives. Drunk driving remains our number one traffic safety problem, costing us billions of dollars in economic damages but worse, unquantifiable grief to families and communities. On average, drunk driving kills roughly 10,000 people each year in the U.S. It's why in 2018, the Commonwealth embarked on its Driven to Protect initiative, working with the Driver Alcohol Detection System for Safety Program. Drivers with James River Transportation were the first to test out these alcohol detection sensors. For them, um, it was fun because they're part of the solution. Those sensors were placed discreetly in the driver door panel and behind the steering wheel. But now that technology will be tested among Schneider truck drivers. Schneider will outfit a total of eight tractors with breath sensors in 2022. The driver simply blows into the sensor, which will then calculate your blood alcohol concentration, or BAC. As if you're blowing a candle. Um, and, you know, hopefully in the very near future, you won't even need to do that. You're just breathing passively and, and normally, and the sensor will pick it up. That type of technology is currently being tested in vehicles that you or I would drive with the hope of rolling it out to the public by 2024. That would allow the car to start, but if your BAC is at or above the legal limit, it won't move. I don't think there will be much pushback. I mean, I think the... The masses do agree you shouldn't drive while impaired. You know, seat belts really made a big difference in saving lives. This is our next step. We got to we have to eliminate or help eliminate drunk driving. Now, there is a study out there that shows this kind of te technology could help save up to 9,000 lives each year. Again, the hope is that some of these transportation companies will really jump on board with this idea once the product hits the market. Now, for the drivers that probably already work there, probably might feel some kind of way. So, if you guys was on the fence about leaving, maybe this is a reason to leave now because the president of Snyder is 100% behind this. Just like the president of JNR Swoogle at the time was 100% behind driver facing camera. Did you find any increase in driver turnover when you first implemented the units? We only had two drivers that we lost. Okay. That was it. They didn't even give it a chance. When we brought the truck in to install it, they left. So out of 600 though, it's a fantastic number and we probably didn't need them to begin with. So we said, okay, no problem. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So you know when a president of a major carrier gets behind something, it's eventually going to trickle down to different carriers. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, again, the question that I'm going to leave with you guys to start a dialogue is what do you guys think? You you think it you think it helps? Uh do you think it helps? The, you know, curve the the drunk driverness out here, or does it harm the potential drivers and veteran drivers that's coming into the company? Let me know in the comments below, man. All right, if you guys like information like this, man, yo, hit me up, leave a like. It does the it does the channel good. I really do appreciate you guys listening, and I will come back at another time. I will come back with another video. You guys take it easy. Peace. Did you find any increase in driver turnover when you first implemented the units? We only had two drivers that we lost. Okay. That was it. They didn't even give it a chance. When we brought the truck in to install it, they left. So out of 600, though, it's a fantastic number, and we probably didn't need them to begin with. So we said, okay, no problem.